Welcome back to Hard Yards Brewers, otherwise known as the Forgotten 43 Brewing as well. So you got Caleb and Mike. Yeah, we were down here um, sharing a beer. So we were mm. lucky, uh, lucky enough to have uh, um, a special visitor to help us brew on our last brew day here at, uh, at the brewery. And um, here's a, a photo that I took of the actual day, because normally I would insert a photo of this guy, but because we're so professional, this is the photo I've got. I don't know if it's going to focus very well, but as you can see, there's Chris Gibson from Grain to Glass. He's got the hat on. There's me in the middle. I've got no hat. And then there's Caleb. He's got the Forgotten Forty Three. So, so we, we brewed together. See, I told you it was a good prop. Yeah, we brewed together here uh, just the other day, and we were lucky enough to get this awesome beer from Chris. So the Dank Stank. I keep blocking your face off. Sorry, mate. The Dank Stank. That's me, and it's actually can so. So Chris owns Grain to, Grain to Glass, here's his logo, uh, it's a homebrew store, so if you go online and check him out, um, and this, this can is actually one of his, uh, he, he'll sell, he sells these cannons, so um, pretty cool we get to try that, so his, his beer's in this, so that's how cool that is, but, um, but yeah, grains, malts, yeasts, all that sort of things, and he's a good bugger, and he's from Waitara, just up the road. Just up the road. Yeah, good guy, check him out, support him, and we're going to drink his beer, so yeah. I'll let you pour it, because I'll say it's well, you're having mocking? It's a, it's a double IPA. It's a double bang. 7.2. Yeah, we're going to be. My face is going to be real. I've been driving the forklift around today. And it's got a bit of citra and 4337 four, is it? Oh, is that the. Mm. Oh, that's experimental, is it? I can only just read it though. I have to hold it like, further away. Wait till you actually drink it, you won't be able to rebugger it all. Anyway. 90 IBU. 90? I can read, I can read that. Yeah, is it? Oh, wow. Well, Oh, it wouldn't it's go either out. 90 or 900. The guy owns a homebrew shop, so he's just going to tip hops, and that's cool. So yeah, so yeah, so um, yeah, it was good to have Chris down for the day. We um, brew here on uh, on our system, and um, yeah, you spend the day uh, having, having a yarn and eating um, chicken nuggets. Oh man, that, that's like pineapple mango, way. Eh? Real fruit. Carl will be proud of us for sniffing the can or the bottle. That's, that's his thing. Here is a daisy. Look. At it. Looks gorgeous. Thirsty looking at it. Try not to rip you off, Mikey. Yeah, uh, just don't rip yourself off because I'm going to take the big one. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's actually. Oh no, it's a bit hazed up. Oh, that's hops in there. Jesus, that's great. I wish this had smell of it. Shit, that's real good, eh? What do you smell? I get like pineapple off the bat, man. Just a tropical soft fruit medley of um, juice, juicy fruit. Mm. That's, that's nice looking color too, mate. It's carved up. Good a little, too. Um, little bit of haze, but it's, um, you know, I kind of guess that it's supposed to be like that with the amount of hops. Yeah, it's, nice, thrown at it. it's a nice golden, eh? Mm. Golden color. And it's streaming. Like, yeah, Chris really is a bit, nicely carved, eh? a bit concerned, I think, that he thought this may have been oxidized with the canning, because so I think it might have been the first lot he's done. But, but anyway, cheers, Chris. Yeah. Cheers, mate. Oh, far out. Yeah, that's good, eh? That's delicious, man. It carries, it carries it off really well. The other day on the You don't even really notice the heat from the 7.2. No, I man. I noticed that, but it that's doesn't. Yeah. It's got a bit of melon, too. I get a bit of rock melon, eh? But um, I actually snuck out the other day with this beer without Caleb seeing, but I had to share it. That'd be, that'd be rude. That's very nice. That's lovely, eh? Mm. Bloody hell. Well done, mate. That's, uh, that's banging good. <laughs> Jesus. Um, so, drop, drop a few more off. Hmm? Yeah, drop off a few <laughs> more cans. <yeah. laughs> just to try, just, just, to make, just to make sure that they're good. Yeah, um, so while we are here, we thought um, we'd show you a couple of things that we've got. Just um, since we've been at the brewery here, we've finally. Uh, Started to get some a few goodies for ourselves down here to uh, make our lives a bit easier. So um, we brought one of these, which is I keep popping your face off. Sorry, right. which is a Anton Parr um, meter. So this this um, reads specific gravity, so, same as what a hydrometer does. So um, you just turn them on like that, and it'll come up with another screen. And here's a sample I prepared earlier. <laughs> And you just put that in, you push the old goober down there, 
and it actually sucks up a little bit of um, fluid. And you just split that out a couple of times to make sure that I should have nearly spilled some on our photo. And then basically it reads the gravity. So you can have a look there. So it's, sorry, mate. <laughs> 10 13 for, for that one. So, um, yeah, but this just makes life so much easier because um, on brew day, when you're dealing with hot work or um, trying to get your gravity, you know, with a hydrometer, of course, you've got to, you know, they calibrate it to 20 degrees, so you've got to cool that whole sample down to 20 degrees. Uh, whereas with this thing, you're only cooling down a small amount and it's way quicker and you it's much, much more um, accurate. So, um, so yeah, so we, we've got that. And another thing we've got is Mr. Acos bottler here. So um, I'll pick you up and show you. So this thing, Oh, made right here in Tamanaki. Yeah, made at Bell Block actually, which is which is pretty cool. So um, what happens with this bottle goes in here, into there, and then you um, basically push the green button. Uh, this the whole thing's you're going to see my mouth here, which is so bad. So uh, uh, you basically push the green button, um, and it'll come down, purge out all the oxygen out of the bottle, um, set it under pressure, and then this back cylinder here will already have the beer in it, the measured beer amount that want, needs to go into the bottle and the plunger will just push it in, um, and so you know, we're not actually using any of the carbonation or any of the CO2 to actually force the beer in. So um, we're getting a much better bottled product out of that. So um, that's yep. been really, really cool. Eh? And it does the seal as well, so it yep. um, just uses an arm. It comes across, you just slip it into where you're putting the cap on, um, and it keeps that oxygen to a minimum. So mm -hmm. cap and fob, um, nice and sealed up, and we've definitely noticed a difference for uh, the quality of the beer coming out of the bottle way. Yeah, it's it's much better. Holds the car very much well. more and much better because like the old bottle, I don't know, you probably did see it on here at some stage. I basically made that for like 300 bucks. And I mean, it was good because, you know, it got us going and, it, um, and the girls bottled like 15,000 bottles through it. But, oh, this thing's so much quicker. Right? The girls were down here yesterday and they bottled all day and sort of into no, three after, Afternoon. Well, yeah, afternoon, yeah. Pretty much an afternoon. They did like 500 bottles or something through a day, which was, which was, we would never have done that on the old one. No way, there's, there's no way, so. So, that, that, oh, by the way, that burbling you can hear in the back, it's not Caleb, yeah, it's, it's not a stomach. It's actually, um, well, Ernie, or oh, you can see down there. Yeah. Ernie, or, oh, no, sorry, Bird, Bird, Ernie, and Big Bird around the corner, but Bird's got um, hard yards in there that Chris came down to help brew, and it's, it's bubbling away nicely. But, um, so, really cool, New Zealand made product. Yeah. Um, they're just up the road, so if we have any issues, um, the guys are really quick and on to come down. Um, give it a quick tune up for us. Uh, we'll do the 500ml bottles and the 330s as well So something new for us going into the 330s and um, yeah, have been really really pleased with the result um, It is a, it is a uh, like a product development so um, it's been great to help work with them and, and see it work in anger in a commercial brewery and get some get some work through it so yeah, yeah cool for us too because that old bottle man it was a bit okay like, compared to this one yeah well this one you know, much quicker the, the old bottle was about an hour and a half a, a keg now uh, this one is about 40 minutes uh, yeah or 40 minutes if you can start yeah, yeah you can probably yeah. slow it down a little bit yeah. so yeah huge difference for us even me i, I did i think i did a keg in about 35 minutes and i'm half retarded so you know it's not too bad <laughs> so. <laughs> don't talk yourself up oh, yeah. <laughs> so yeah maybe anyway, i'll put you back down here so that beer that beer is mean, man. So what, what was the hops in it? Citroen Hort 337, uh, 4337? 1337. I wonder what the yeast was. Is that that, um, 644 that, uh, I'm pretty sure Chris used that in his, um, Misty Mount Hops beer. Yeah, it's, it's sort of got very nice. Just a nice round. God, that's lovely, eh? That's good, you know, like, that 7% of getting that balance between yeah. the hops, the malt and the alcohol is that, always that hard balance around that alcohol volume, eh? For, that that hop, that, that that's good. Seven is real me um, melon, eh? I'll get melon. Mm. Bloody great. Very fruity. Easy to drink, way too easy to drink. Mm. We need a few more of them. Yeah, we might just, just have to crack the mouse in out of the fridge. Well, we can probably sort of, yeah. Take a trip up to Waitara and uh, raid his fridge, although he's. I think actually, from what Chris was saying, I'm pretty sure that all of his beers have got them over seven percent. So, yeah, you probably want to stop up there, I'd say. If you know. <laughs> mm. Some wiggins. So yeah. So anyway, we just sort of do a quick uh, catch up and say thanks to Chris for, for the day. Came down and um, spent it. Was an awesome day down here. He uh, went home with an arm full of pickled onions and a what else did he take? Oh, a stomach full of um, hot sauce and and chicken nuggets. But um, yeah, it was great to see him. And yeah, 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 yeah it's always good to catch up with uh, with mates. So, so especially on a brew day, it was cool. Yeah, really choice. Uh, what's new on the front for us for uh, the brewery? 
uh, three days a week uh, on license and um, and have the shop open the bar open. So Friday, Saturday, Sundays. Um, that's been we're starting this weekend, so really looking forward to that. It's a new iteration for the brewery and just helps us to get our beer out there a bit more and, and yeah. help getting across the tap. So really looking forward to that this weekend and hitting the summer season hard. Yeah, we have been sort of doing um, just sort of we've been doing Thursdays, Saturdays. Yeah, well, sort of Saturday mornings and Sunday arvo, so it'd be quite good to have like Friday, Saturday, Sunday, so it's a bit more regimented and it gives us the week to brew and transfer and keg and whatever yeah, and, things and, we and do our usual, you know, like jobs. Oh, yeah, and work too, yeah, because you know, we've got to do, do that at some stage, just do it at night time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's easy to stay out of the way then. So, uh, so yeah, but no, no, things are ticking along, and we're still here. It's just, um, I know they're few and far between these bids, but um, oh, well, maybe if Chris gave us a few more of these, we'll probably do a few more, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, oh, definitely. Good definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I know how much of license photo taken. Yeah, well, that's the photo. Yeah, that's where, that's yeah, where there we is. Got this photo there. It does look like you actually made it, buddy. Oh, that you reckon? Oh, no, that's you did, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, it's me. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, just a short, sharp one because, you know, we're already up to 11 minutes. I can see that. So, uh, so yeah, so cheers. Um, yeah, hope everyone's safe and, and being well. And, um, yeah, if you're ever passing through Stratford, feel free to, uh, to come and say hello and, uh, and, and have a catch up on a Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. And if not, yep. Give us a bit on the on the page and um, on the messenger page, and uh, one of us will come and catch up with you. There's no drama. So, yeah. so yeah. So cheers, cheers, awesome. Chris. That Thanks is, very much, is, Chris. It is bang, yeah, isn't it? It's great to see you. Yeah, I know. So it's an awesome day. So you should be proud of that. Yeah, it's uh, like I said. I just really wish I had to get that to myself. But don't worry about it. I brought it back. It's cool. Well, thanks, man. Yeah. Looking after me. Yeah, that's cool. Cool. Anyway, cheers. Thanks for watching. See you next time.